Hey guys, Eric with Morris 4x4 Center, and today we're going to be talking about the S Pod for Jeeps. So, if you're anything like me, you got to have all the electrical bells and whistles connected to your Jeep. Now, before the S Pod came around, we used to wire these directly into our wiring harness, tap them directly to the battery, wires strung all over the place. It was an absolute mess. Now, with the S-Pod, we're able to connect all electrical accessories easily without risk of damaging the factory wiring harness or electrical system of the Jeep. And hooking these things up couldn't be any easier. Literally two wires to connect any electrical component you wish. LED lights, air pumps, lockers, your CB radio, you name it. If you can put it on your Jeep, you can hook it up to an S-Pod. Now let's come in and take a closer look and I'll show you exactly how the S-Pod works it is to attach these parts to the S-Pod. So what we have here is the power source for your S-Pod, aptly named the source. Now powering up the source is incredibly easy. You literally just have to connect the positive wire to the positive side of your battery and the negative wire to the negative side of your battery and it's simple as that. Your source is set up ready to accept any electrical accessory you want to put on your vehicle. Now let's pop the hood of this thing and I'll show you an up close look at the internal guts and show you exactly how easy it is to connect those accessories to this thing. So here's what the inside of the source looks like. Now you can see the six circuits. Each circuit is protected by its own individual fuse. And then of course it has its own individual Bosch relay to power on each circuit with the flip of the switch on your switch panel. Now here's where it gets super easy. Now if you look here, each circuit has two terminals to power any accessory that you want. One ground, and then another source wire, which is going to be your positive wire. It is literally as simple as unscrewing this Phillip head screw, attaching the eyelet connector to the appropriate circuit, and screwing it back down, and you are good to go. Power and ground, and your accessory is wired perfectly and protected and ready to run in your vehicle. Now if you thought wiring up the source was easy, wait till you see the switch pod. Now each switch pod is designed specifically for each application. The pods are direct bolt-in. Now to connect the pod to the source, it's as easy as just plugging in this wiring harness and you're good to go. You will have direct control of the source right at your fingertips with the rocker switches in the pod itself. So each S-Pod is manufactured right here in the United States in Southern California. Now, What's great about S-Pods are they are all bench tested right from the factory before they are shipped out. So you know that when you get your S-Pod, it is going to be fully functional with no faults whatsoever. Now they're constructed from aircraft aluminum. All the hardware is stainless steel, so you're getting the best parts put on this possible. All the connectors for the wiring are aerospace quality, so you know no dust, dirt, grime, or anything like that is going to get in and interrupt your electrical connections. Now, Probably the best feature about the S-Pod is the built-in low voltage cutoff. So let's say you accidentally leave one of these switches on when you shut your vehicle off. If it sees the battery voltage drop below 11.8 volts, the S-Pod immediately shuts off all power to any accessories so you know when you start your vehicle in the morning, you'll have the juice in your battery so you can get to work, get down the trail, wherever you're traveling, you will not be left stranded whatsoever if you've got the S-Pod. So I get a lot of customers asking me what vehicles you can put an S-Pod in. And you can actually put an S-Pod in any vehicle you want. They make universal kits that you can mount in any vehicle, a buggy, race car. I even have a customer who put it in his camping trailer to run his hot water system for his shower. He's got a hose back there. He's got a radio. He's got all the bells and whistles on this thing. And he's got an S-Pod right in his trailer. So definitely not limited to application whatsoever. Now the S-Pod has six circuits to utilize in the source and switch panel. And a common question or concern that I get is, well, I've got more than six accessories on my Jeep that I need switches for. You know, what happens when I run out of space? Well, you can just install another source and set of switches in your Jeep. You, these are easily daisy chained together, so you can run as many accessories as you can possibly fit on your Jeep. So a lot of people want to know if they can actually customize the switches on the switch pod for the S-Pod. And yes, you actually can. 
They come in a variety of different colors. You can order it in a few different configurations as well. There's also a double LED lit switch that you can have installed in these as well. Now, if you don't see any of the choices on our website, definitely give one of our Jeep experts a call. We can customize the S-Pod for you and order any switch configuration that you would like. Now, if you don't want to actually use these switches, you can take it a step further. S-Pod also sells a remote control module that has built-in Bluetooth. So you can actually control the S-Pod direct from a smartphone as well. Now a lot of people want to know that since they no longer have to tap in their individual electrical accessories into the electrical system of the Jeep, do they still have to tie in the S-Pod to the factory wiring harness? And the answer is no. It is literally as simple as in connecting the red wire to the positive side of your battery, the black wire to the negative side, and that is it. Your S-Pod source is powered ready to accept the electrical accessories. Now also another concern is whether you have to actually drill holes in your vehicle to run the wiring. Now that is going to be true for 97 to 2006 Wranglers, but on all JK models you do not have to drill any holes and it is literally 100% plug and play. So guys, I hope I gave you some more knowledge about the S-Pod and open up your eyes to the benefits of actually running this in your vehicle and also the safety aspect of not having 20 different wires attached to the positive side of your battery. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, or you need help ordering one of these S-Pods, or you want to customize one, definitely call one of our Jeep experts at 1-877-553-5337. You can also drop us a line at sales at morris4x4center.com. And of course, you can see the entire line of S-Pod products on our website, at www.morris4x4center.com. Now, I appreciate you guys watching so much. My name's Eric with Morris 4x4 Center, and I will see you next time out on the trail.